Hi everyone, this is Rick, K6BZN from Vacaville, California, and you're watching the Ham Radio 2.0 video podcast series available on live from the hamshack.tv and YouTube. 7-3. Ham Radio 2.0, good afternoon. Another hot and sunny afternoon here in the great state of Texas. Thank you for that intro. Anyone who is interested in sending me an intro similar to the one you just saw. Take your phone, turn it sideways, and record that same thing you just heard, which is my name is, give your name and call sign, and you're watching the Ham Radio 2.0 video podcast available on live from the hamshack.tv and YouTube. Very simple. And send it in, I'll put it in front of some videos. So, um, we are, I, I'm excited to say that, uh, well, last week I announced that my Kickstarter made, so um, that actually ends tomorrow. No, it ends today, but I'm recording this video a couple of days early, but by the time you are watching this video, it'll end this <laughs> the day this video airs, so today, and uh, so I'm looking forward forward to recording that Tapper conference. More to come on that later. So this one, this video today is going to be an unboxing. I'm actually going to do an unboxing for those of you who like to complain about it. This is an unboxing of the TYT TH350, a new tri-band analog uh, FM transceiver from TYT. Here on the front of the box it's got tri-band, tri-display, and tri-standby. 128 channels, that's kind of weak for a tri-band radio. It's only got 128 channels. The Waxon UV8 Echo had 999 channels in it. Now, the receiver on that one, you know, I did a review on that one when it first came out, and I really liked the radio. The 8 Delta, the dual band, was a fantastic radio. I still got mine in there. But I just never could. The, the 8 Echo had a lot of birdies in it. And after I used it for a couple of months, after I recorded the unboxing video, I just got to where, you know, I just don't like this radio. I think I'm going to try to start doing follow-up videos because I like to review a radio when it's brand new, when it first comes out. I haven't seen anyone do a review on this one quite yet. So I like to do radio reviews as soon as possible. But then I kind of like to use them for a month or two and see what I think about them in a real-world environment. So I may do some follow-up videos on that later on. So, unboxing is pretty eventless, as you might imagine. Got a manual, programming cable. Uh, I don't remember if it came with that or if I had to ask for that separately. Antenna, desk charger, and the radio itself, which is right here. There's a belt clip. There is a, there's a second antenna underneath the insert that is a, a whip antenna. So, comes with two antennas. And there's a belt clip down there's a belt clip down there and blah blah blah. It's kind of uh I mean, it looks like a box. You know, <laughs> I love the guys that comment on my videos. Oh, well, I didn't really want to watch an unboxing, so I didn't watch your video when all I do is talk about the unboxing. I don't actually do it. So, here is the display. I have programmed some channels into it that are local repeaters. Hold on. There we go. Right there. You can see the display. Ooh, that's... Yeah, there the backlight went out on it there. But that is the display. The top, uh, the top repeater there is the 2 meter Hurst repeater. Uh, the middle repeater is the uh, 220... Roston repeater, and the bottom one is the 440 um, N5 AOC grapevine repeater. Go through the menus, show you guys the menus. Uh, let's see. Nope. Let's see. Band. Show this in a second. KC5 HWB test. There's no offset. So we'll go into the menu here. Kind of a very basic looking menu. There's nothing. There's nothing special about this at all. Uh, okay. <laughs> Took a minute to go through the menu. Like I said, the menu is kind of basic looking, which uh, I'll get a close-up of that here in just a second. K6 
KC5 HWB testing. Okay, so I'm hitting the 440 repeater, which is just right over there. Um, see if I can, I don't know if I can hit the Hurst repeater or not. Boom. Band menu. There. I bet I can't hit the Hurst repeater. I just thought of why. But it's, I mean, it's, the, the menu, the programming by hand is kind of weird. Again, it came with a programming cable. I do not have the software at this point in time. You can probably download it from tyt888.com, or at least you will be able to. I looked for it yesterday, and I couldn't find it. Um, but uh, it might be there by now, or maybe by the time this video airs. Um, because this radio is brand new. I haven't even seen anyone carry this radio. I spoke to Richard at Maine Trading Company um, about a week ago, and I asked him if he was going to be carrying this radio, and he said, he asked me if it was FCC type accepted. Um, behind the battery, uh, it has an FCC stamp on the battery, on the radio, I should say. It has an FCC stamp. It has a serial number and the, the TYT Electronics logo. And then it has a QR code to scan for verification. So, it is probably in process of being type accepted, which is usually the, uh, the way they do it before, the, before a new model comes out. So, they've got, it, they've got it stamped like it's type accepted. They don't actually have the FCC type acceptance number written on here, but they've got the logo, they've got the serial number, and then they've got the QR code, which uh, says scan for verification underneath it. So they make it look like it's type accepted. Let's see. Uh, and 220. And I will show everybody how to do this here in just one second. This uh, transmit and receive of CTCSS tones was a little bit tricky. But uh, <laughs> I opened up the manual, I looked at it, and I figured it out. So it, it's, it's not that big of a deal, really. It's just it's not obvious to the, to the eye. No, I'm, not, I'm surprised I'm not able to hit that one. It is 4,800, I think. No, okay. It might be a different frequency than what I am... I put a blog post up on my blog some, you know, three or four or five years ago. 224-800, that is correct, okay. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. I could probably go outside and hit it. KC5HWB testing, one, two, three. Nope, okay, so it's not hitting. There's not a close 220 repeater in this area, so I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not real surprised that I'm not hitting this from an HT inside of the ham shack here. So let me show you guys what this screen looks like. All right, I got a little bit better shot of it now. I'm going to make sure it focuses. Okay, there we go. Okay, so obviously that's the screen. So I can turn on the backlight here. And in order to, let me, uh, kind of better without the backlight on, so you could see the keys a little bit. So, in order to go into the menu, obviously the menu takes you into the menu. And you see this is a very basic looking menu. Everything's on a different menu. There's a small number in the top right corner there, where you can see the menu number. And that's menu 1, menu 30. So it's got 30 options in the menu. So in order to set, so here's how, here's how to program it. I'm just going to do a how to program real quick. So a 220 repeater is uh, 1.6 megahertz offset, usually with a minus offset in this area. And uh, all, pretty much all the repeaters around here are 110.9 uh, CTCSS tones. So we're going to go to into menu. And we can turn, we can hit the up down arrows to switch menus in here. Or I can just turn the knob on top 
This one right here, difference, is your offset. So if I wanted to change that, I would hit enter, and you see the arrow pop down there in the bottom left corner, and then I can, and then I, I have to type, type this in, 05, if it was a 5 megahertz offset, or I could do 016, and then to hit enter does nothing, which it makes sense if you hit enter, that would do it, but actually if you hit menu, you'll notice the arrow goes away, and then you change, come back to it, and it's still there. S, S slash D is your separation or your offset menu. I'm sorry, menu. Hit enter to go into it. The arrow pops down there in the bottom left. I can go no offset, minus, or positive offset. So if I want to do a plus offset on a uh, 440 repeater or something. Um, so I hit menu, arrow goes away, and stays on negative. So that's, those are menus uh, 26 and 27. And then to set the actual PL tone, or C CTCSS, we're just going to do the transmit side. This was a little bit tricky. This is what I had to look in the menu for. So we hit enter, the uh, arrow pops up, and I can change this, what, but when it was saying off before, like this right here, let's go this one. I hit enter, I turn this and nothing happens. I hit this and nothing happens. So what you have to do is you have to go you hit have to hit the VM key and it gives you the option of analog CTCSS, digital tone or off. So analog, digital in, digital out and in and off. So what we do is uh, turn that off, go back here, hit enter and then once you go I don't want a digital tone. I want a regular CTSS tone. Once you get there, then you use the, the channel knob on the top. And I'm using this knob up here that's out of the picture. I can use this if I want to. Use the up, down arrow buttons. And then to hit enter, I don't hit enter. I hit menu. And the arrow on the bottom left goes away. And it's still there, saved in memory. So then we can exit. And I can key up. And of course, I'm too far away for the repeater. KC5HWB testing. Yeah, so uh, let's go. I'll show you what the uh, hit band, and it shows the arrow going in between the three bands. And I can key this one up. And that is, of course, the uh, N5EOC machine here in Grapevine. KC5HWB testing with a new radio. So, that is that. Let me give you a shot here of the back and show you what I was talking about with the uh, FCC symbol. There's the FCC symbol right there. That's the stamp. This is the serial number that you can look up. And then the QR code is right here. And right there underneath the QR code, you can't really see it in the camera, it says scan for verification. So what they're saying is, and it's got a T number right there, two-way radio, T number, such and such. And it's saying it's verified. I, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. I have not looked it up. But um, that is what they're claiming right now. So I expect that as time goes by, there will be a actual FCC number printed on those. That is the TYT Tri-Band Analog TH350. Um... I'm not sure the exact price selling point of these yet. I th think they're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to 90 bucks, maybe 100 bucks, somewhere in that neck of the woods. Um, I'll just look it up here real quick. I don't. I have not seen when I when I first got this in a couple weeks ago. I have not seen anyone actually listing this radio on their website yet. So if I just do a Google search for a TH350. Uh, it's on TYT's website. It's on Aliaba. r and Electronics. Let's look at those guys. That's a re reputable shop. $84.95. r and Electronics has it for $84.95 with free shipping. Okay. So, 
It says this item is currently in stock. Okay. A uh, couple of Amazon ads come up, but that's not for this model. That's for yeah. So RNL Electronics has it. Um, pretty sure Main Trading Company is going to get it. Uh, he just wants to make sure it's type accepted, which I don't blame him at all. Um, but that is what that is. So thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, today's short video. Uh, unboxing and testing the TYT TH350. Like I said, I'm going to do. I'm going to start doing follow-up videos a month or two after. What I'll probably do is take this radio and maybe the uh, the BTEC amp that I've that I have and a couple other radios that I've reviewed in the past and just kind of do a follow-up video to follow up all of them at some point and just say, here's my findings after using this for you know a little bit. So 73. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to me on YouTube. Hit up my website, livefromthehamshack.tv, and uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, hamradio2dot0. 73s, and we'll see you next week. This has been Ham Radio 2.0, a YouTube production by KC5HWB. Visit our website at www.livefromthehamshack.tv. Please also stop by our Facebook page at fb.me slash hamradio2. Be sure and subscribe here on YouTube to keep up with all the new videos that are posted nearly every Monday. 73s everyone and thanks for watching.